Hey, what's up guys? Diggin' Dave here. So this is a little bit of a different video, but I wanted to get some coins and my normal pickup bank doesn't get any boxes until next week. So I decided to do a little bank hopping. I'm just, I'm just going to go to a bunch of random banks. Some banks I have an account with, some banks I don't. I'm going to try to get $100 in quarters here and there, maybe some dimes, ask uh, for half dollars. But I'll let you guys know what I find, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to go home and open up all the coins so wish me luck guys let's get digging into these banks and see what we can find so all right guys the first bank stop nothing crazy they didn't have any bags of quarters or dimes and they didn't have any half dollars but i was able to get four rolls of dimes and uh five rolls of quarters so hey it's better than nothing um i wanted to get 10 rolls of quarters but the bank teller acted like they didn't have that much and one tip always be nice to the bank tellers and just say thank you. If they give you coins, be grateful because they don't have to sell you coins. If they give you anything, if they gave me one roll, I would still say thank you. Five quarters and four dimes. Um, let me show you guys really quick what I'm going to try to do here. So I brought these empty coin boxes from home. I'm going to try to fill up one or two quarter boxes, maybe a box of dimes. So there's a start. Five rolls of quarters. And, um, oh wait, never mind. I thought I only had four rolls of dimes. She gave me five dimes and five quarters. So, all right, let's move on to the next bank. Well, nothing crazy, guys, but the next bank had, I got another five rolls of quarters. They had dimes, but all the dimes are brand new. So now we have a hundred and quarters. Let's move on to the next bank. Just went through a bank drive through I don't have an account with. I asked for 10 rolls of quarters, and she said because I don't have an account with them, she could give me five. But, hey, five rolls of quarters better than nothing let's move on to the next bank well guys i just got a nice score at a bank that i don't have an account with i was surprised i was able to get a hundred dollars in quarters and a hundred dollars in dimes and i checked the dimes and quarters they look circulated so that's good we didn't get all brand new dimes so that means uh i'm gonna have to calculate quick but uh we're getting some rolls and we still have a lot of banks to go but a hundred dollars in quarters hundred in dimes let's move on to the next bank Next bank was able to get two rolls of quarters and one dime. Unfortunately, I think the dime is all new. It looks pretty shiny, but the quarters are circulated, so two more rolls of quarters. Move on to the next bank. So just left another bank, and I was able to score another $100 in quarters or in this bag here. They do, they do look circulated. A little tongue twister there. But um, we're coming along and filling up the first quarter box. Still a lot of banks to go. I'm just trying to get... My best advice, if you're new to my channel and you want to know how to get coins, if you don't have an account with the place, or even places you do have an account with, you know, apparently some banks nowadays say there's a coin shortage, but I don't really believe in that. I would say a safe bet is try to get $50 to $100 in quarters from a bank. Don't go in and say, I want five boxes of quarters because they'll look at you like you're crazy, but got a hundred more dollars in quarters, 10 more rolls. Let's move on to the next bank. Just left another bank and I scored good at this bank. I was able to get a $500 bag of dimes right here. And I also was able to get $300 in quarter rolls. So this was a really good bank. I do have an account with this bank, but different types of rolls. So we have a few more banks to go to, but we're definitely getting a lot of coins. Let's keep on digging. Just stopped at another bank, got five more rolls of quarters. Let's keep on looking. So man, guys, I just stopped at another bank. Um, I've had like three or four banks. A lot of banks don't like you asking for coins if you don't have an account with them, but just stopped at a bank I don't have an account with, was able to score five rolls of quarters. It's kind of hard because some of these banks said they would give me a hundred or $200 in quarters, but then when I say I don't have an account, uh, but then when I say I don't have an account with them, they're like, oh, we can only give you five rolls, which five's better than nothing, but um, yeah, I wish I could get some more rolls. Makes me, makes me think I might have to open up some more bank accounts, but all right, let's move on to the next bank. So sorry guys, I was going through drive throughs and didn't have time to film. I went to two more banks and got $100 from one bank and $100 from another. So we got a lot of quarters. I don't even know how much we have right now, but they are circulated, it looks like. Oh yeah, all right. Let's try to go to a few more banks and then we'll probably head back to my house, start opening up these rolls. Just stopped at another bank in my uh, near where I live. $200 in quarters, 
$50 in dimes and $30 in half dollars. I think I'm only gonna go to like one or two more banks and then that should be enough coins. Cause look right there, we have over two full boxes of quarters now, that $500 bag of dimes. We have plenty of coins to look through. And just like that guys, I got $200 in quarters. I think that's gonna be good for now. I think I have almost three full boxes of quarters that I've accumulated. $500 bag of dimes, about a little over half of a box of dimes too. So I've gotten a lot of coins and um, also got something here at this bank, some free popcorn. All right, let's go back to the house and open up these coins. So all right guys, I'm back home and here is what I got from all the bank hunting I did. I'd say I went to probably 12 different banks. These are all the rolls I accumulated. I'd say two full boxes of quarters. This box here is almost full of quarters. I'd say about $400 in quarters, three rolls of half dollars, and almost a full box of dimes and rolls. Plus, I got the $500 bag of dimes from a bank. I think I'm gonna start the video off looking through this bag of dimes, and then I'll move on to the rolls of dimes I have, the half dollars, and then into the quarters. But let's start on this bag of dimes. Hopefully there is silver in this bag. Let's get started and let's get digging into these dimes. All right, let's get started. Oh, and really quick, for you guys who don't know how I search um, bags of coins, I mainly, I normally do rolls, but sometimes if I'm lucky, I get a bag. I'm just gonna grab handfuls out of here and uh, just kind of calculate how far I am into the bag, and I'll just let you know I'm on handful number four or five or whatever, what I found. But let's get started on this $500 bag of dimes. Well, all right, guys, like I said, I'm just taking handfuls out of the bag. I'd say I've probably gone through four or five handfuls of this dime, $500 dime bag, and look right there. Pretty sure we have a silver dime. Awesome. 1951, Philadelphia. All right, we got a silver in the bag. I, I'm just putting a dent into this bag. We have a lot of this bag to go. But a 51... Philadelphia silver dime. All right, let's keep digging through this bag. Well, very good sign. Very next handful, I think we have another silver dime. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Silver dime number two, and we're just getting started into this $500 bag of dimes. A 1956 Denver. So two silver dimes in this bag, and we have a lot to go. All right, let's keep on digging. So all right guys, so I found two silver dimes. I've probably gone through four or five more handfuls. No more silver, but I did just see this pop out of a handful. I laid it out and it kind of caught my eye. It's a 1977S, so this is a proof dime. It's obviously a clad proof. I'm not sure when they started making silver dime proofs, but this is a proof, 1977S. Definitely circulated, but kind of a cool find can see that reflective mirror finish there. But all right, we still have a lot of this $500 dime bag to go through. Let's keep on digging. Just a little while later, I went through a few handfuls with no silvers uh, after I found that proof dime, but just got silver dime number three for the bag. And it's a 1964 Philadelphia. So that is silver dime number three. And I'd say I'm not quite halfway through the bag. So awesome. 1964. So all right guys, just a little update. You know, I found the proof and the three silver dimes and the box really slowed down. As you can see, I'm literally at the bottom of the $500 bag. Well, almost gone. Finally just got another silver dime. Looks like a 1953 Denver. So that is silver dime number four. Um, I'd say I probably have maybe two or three handfuls left in here, and I'll see if I find anything else. And we'll move on to the box of dimes and the quarters. Let's keep on digging. So, all right, I just finished that $500 bag of dimes. I thought there was going to be some more silver dimes in the bag, but I'm not complaining because I did find four silver dimes. A 51, a 53, a 56, 64, and a 1977S proof. All right, let's go ahead and move on to this uh, partial box of dimes. Like I said, I think I 
you know, not quite a full box, but got some rolls of dimes that are circulated. So we're going to see what we can find in here. Then we'll move on to the half dollars and the quarters. All right, let's keep on digging. So all right, guys, and those uh, rolls of dimes, the random rolls I got, we didn't find much. We found one foreign, uh, 1991 Canadian, and we did get one proof, but no silver in those rolls, a 1976S. Uh, next, I have three rolls, a half dollars. Um, I'm not seeing any silver enders or anything crazy, but I'll go ahead and open these up quick and see if I have anything in these half dollars, and then we'll move on to the quarters. All right, I'll let you guys know if I find anything. So, all right, guys, those three rolls of half dollars were a bust, all clad, no errors or varieties. Um, I still have two full boxes worth of quarters in here. Um, this was almost full. Haven't found anything yet. I started on the box here of quarters that was not full. Um, but look what I just found right here. We got our first find in the quarters. It is a 2020 W because we have the V75. And let's see what it is. Oh, we're farm. So I'm super happy. We just found a W quarter. All right. We have a lot of rolls left. Hopefully we can find some silver. It's been a while since I found a silver quarter. But I'm super happy we found a W. Let's keep on digging. So I have not really found anything since this 2020 W Weir Farm. I started on this box here. We still have a whole nother box worth of quarters. But I did just find a double die. I found a few of these over the, over the last few months. But this is the 2020. This is the 2020 uh, P Salt River Bay DDO001. And you can see clear doubling there. This is on the website Variety Vista. Even Blue Ridge Silverhound has talked about this. Probably a $15 to $20 coin. But you can see clear doubling in God We Trust and on the mint mark. So that's pretty cool. A double die. Let's keep on digging. Right, guys. So I'm still going through these quarters. And this quarter here, I thought it was just damage at first. I mean, it might have some damage on it, but it sounded kind of different. Like, listen to this quick. Like, here's normal quarter. And listen to this quarter. It sounds different. And then I decided to put a, uh, get my scale out. So a normal quarter should weigh about, what, 5.67 grams? And then I grabbed this quarter here, which sounded a little different. And this only weighs 4.43 so is this an error or is this just damage? What's going on with this quarter? And it seems really thin on the edge. I don't know if this is just damaged, but even if a quarter was damaged, shouldn't it still weigh the same? This is interesting. All right, I'll go ahead and hold on to it. I'm not sure, but again, listen to a normal quarter here. And then listen to this one. Sounds different. I don't know. I'll hold on to it and uh, see what's going on. So, all right, guys, a little while later, um, after I found that 2020 Salt River Bay double die and I found that 2020 Weir Farm, Weir Farm W earlier, I haven't really found anything else, but this just popped out of this roll. I saw the S mint mark, and this is actually in fairly nice condition, and it's a 2013 White Mountain, New Hampshire. As you can see, it has the S San Francisco mint mark, but it's not a proof. Um, I've explained this before in my videos. If you see right here, 2013 S White Mountain, just a little over a million and a half minted, which is pretty low mintage. And if you go down here, it says for A, not issued for circulation. So... Uh, the Mint did make some quarters not issued for circulation, so this is not a proof, but it is a NIFC quarter, uh, 2013 White Mountain. So I'll put that in a flip. You know, these have lower mintages than the W quarters, but for some reason these don't have these don't get as much love. These don't get as much love, but still kind of a cool find. All right, I'm gonna put this in a flip, and this is actually in pretty nice condition. Let's keep on digging. So just a couple rolls later, hopefully this shows up okay on uh, camera, but I already put it in a flip because I didn't want to touch it with my hands. But 1983P, just the year 1983 in general, is a harder quarter to find in nice condition. 
the 83p here this has beautiful details has a little luster on it but i put it in a flip they, these sell from a couple dollars to 10 to 15 dollars on ebay in better condition but as you can see this is a beautiful quarter no damage really nothing wrong with it but a 1983 like i said is a harder year to find in nice condition so i i went ahead and put this in a flip but a beautiful 1983p all right let's keep on digging so all right guys i'm still working on this box here i think i still have like 11 rolls left and then we have another 500 dollars worth of quarters and just got another find finally this is a pretty nice condition w 2019 because there's no v75 and it is a lull that's in nice condition this was the first w released for it being two years old 2019 this is actually in very nice condition i will take that all day let me go ahead and throw this in a flip let's keep on digging yes another w so i just finished this 500 dollars box or you know what the rolls i accumulated we still have 500 dollars worth in quarter rolls we've had a few good finds uh two w's a double die nifc a nice 83p um yeah so we have a few finds i'm still wondering about this quarter here that weighs almost a whole gram lighter but uh 500 dollars more worth in quarters let's keep on digging so i'm going through this last 500 dollars in quarter rolls and as you can see we're getting towards the bottom here i think i have about 20 rolls left there's been a lot of newer 2019 and 2020 quarters i saw this right here and i thought oh it's probably just a denver because there's been a ton the American Memorial Park Denver's, but I flipped it over. Look at that beauty. This is in beautiful condition. 2019 American Memorial Park W. This and the Marsh Billings is the best ones to find. $20, $30 quarter all day. Super happy to add that to my collection. All right, let's keep on digging. So all right, everyone, I just finished up those quarters. I'm all out of coins to go through. So I'm going to do a wrap up really quick. I'm pretty happy with the fines. I'm out of that $500 out of that $500 bag of dimes. We got the four silver dimes. So not bad anytime you find silver, it's a score four silver dimes. We got the two proof dimes. I think one out of the bag and one out of the roll, 76S and a 77S. Also got the one foreign, a 1991 uh Canadian dime and then out of the quarters this is what we got we got three W's which I'm happy with we got uh, the 2019 W Lull we got a 2020 W Weir Farm right there I'm super happy we found a beautiful sorry there's a hair on it or something the beautiful 2019 American Memorial Park like this is in just really nice condition so I'm super happy with that find. We did find a double die. Let me zoom in really quick again and see there. Uh, 2020 Salt River Bay, Philadelphia. Now I showed it under the microscope, but you can see the doubling and in God we trust. We got a really nice 1983P. Like I said, these are just harder to find in nice condition. We got one NIFC quarter. You see the S mint mark. 2013 white mountain new hampshire and then the mystery coin quarter it weighs it does look damaged but i don't know it it, it it does seem like the quarter is thinner and it weighs 4.44 grams instead of the normal like 5.6 grams that a normal quarter weighs and it sounds different so i'm not sure but guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more videos like this where I go bank hunting, go to different banks and get rolls of coins and look through them, uh, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Make sure and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm really surprised out of all those quarters, we did not get one silver quarter. I was really hoping to get a silver quarter, but we did find some W's and some other cool finds. But again, make sure and like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, Keep on digging.